Hi guys. Logic here. I finally decided it was time to do another tutorial. This time we are going to tackle creating a custom class. It's actually much simpler than you think. We really only need two files. Let's look at the first one now. The mod player file. We only need a single method in this file. Reset effects. This method allows you to reset variables like item damage multipliers that can be changed by other items. Now we need to come up with a variable that will control our class's item damage. Of course, I'm making the banana class. So I will call my variable banana damage. It needs to be a float as well so that it can contain decimal places. We then set the variable to be 1 so that it constantly resets the damage multiplier to 100%. Otherwise all items that would add to the damage would just keep adding and adding and adding. Now we are moving on to the harder part, which isn't actually very hard at all. Creating the parent class for all the weapons of this class. Create a file with your class name and then item as its name. So since my class is the banana class, I named my file banana item. I skipped some of the file setup since it's exactly the same method as every other mod file you create. First we need a boolean variable that says that this item is dealing banana damage, so we set that to true, in case we ever want to check whether an item is a banana class item in the future. Next, in the set defaults method, we set all the vanilla class variables to false. Now we want to edit the tooltip method to change it to say the correct type of damage is being dealt. You should copy the code from the link in the description to get the template for this part as there are lots of complex functions that calculate where to insert the string in the tooltip. It's basically saying, split the string at the place where it says damage, and add this word before it. I, of course, am going to use banana. But don't be dumb like me, and actually put a space after your word so that there is a space between it and the word damage in game. Alright. Next we need to make the damage properly scale with the increased player damage, as well as when items in vanilla and other mods increase damage. To do this we use the get weapon damage method. You can copy this as well from the description, since you really aren't learning much by memorizing the parameters of all the methods. Now, we need to call the class damage variable from the player. Create an instance of your mod player, and read the variable that you made in the first part of the tutorial. Now we multiply the damage by the scaling factor of the variable. Remember to cast it as an integer, however, since damage is an integer parameter. To get the damage to scale from vanilla and other mods is a bit tricky though. The way I devised doing it is to make a temporary variable. Let's call it global damage. Then, we make global damage equal to the lowest multiplier of every vanilla class, since the way vanilla increases damage is by boosting the damage of every class individually for some reason. What this does is gives us the maximum amount by which every class is increased. We can then add this to the damage value at the end. I made a slight mistake here. The code I wrote will actually stack the damage multiplier from vanilla with the multiplier from your mod variable. So if your mod variable multiplier is plus 100% and the vanilla multiplier is plus 20%, this code would give plus 140%. Let's fix that by creating a variable called original damage to store the original damage value, and multiply the vanilla multiplier by that value instead. There we go. Believe it or not that was all you needed to do. Now to make a weapon that is part of your class, make it extend your class item instead of the default mod item. Now my banana deals banana damage. Bizarre. If you want to make something like an accessory that increases the damage your class deals, all you have to do is call an instance of your mod player again and increase the variable like I did here. Time to test it in game. 
there's always something wrong, like accidentally adding decimal places in a variable name because I'm so used to coding in Game Maker. Whoopsie daisy. Make sure you also have all the imports necessary to use the functions in your files. After debugging all of that, let's see how it looks in game. Well, besides the space I forgot, it looks like it worked. Let's test out the accessory as well, and see how that works. Hey hey! And here's an accessory from another mod that increases all damage, and that worked too. Well I hope you enjoyed this new tutorial, and I hope it was of some use to you. Do let me know if you have any questions or need any help. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Anyways, I'll be signing off for now. Good luck all, and happy modding!